allowing me to have this opportunity to serve in this way. Um, the welcome has been tremendous. The support has been great. And um, I'm expecting to uh, just continue to do well and do as much as I can to impact the community and the, and the schools at large. So thank you so much for that. Um, with that being said, I have been here for about a month, so I don't know everything yet. <laughs> um, but I did do my best to pull together the budget report that you have before you. Um, and I know that at this point in the year, you would expect that we would be at a right at about 90% in spending our budget. And in most areas, we are there. We are very close to that 90% point. And we anticipate going through the um, month of June and making those last minute purchases, those last minute expenditures. So I feel good right now about where we are with the budget. Um, if there are any questions, any specific questions, I'd be glad to try to answer them to the best of my ability. Same results, it looks like that we're going to exit the budget form uh, status as a district. But as we get more details with that, we'll share you, we'll share that with you. We'll finish up our testing this week and it should be able to show you some preliminary results. But that's a result of everyone pulling together. Janelle, our curriculum staff, Everybody on the team has helped pull together our principals and our teachers, and so we're just thankful for the results that we have and that where we're at. We know we still have improvements to make, but we've we've made progress at practically every site. So we're thankful for that. We're good about that. Um, the most important event, graduation, will be Saturday at ten o'clock. We look forward to that celebrating the young people taking the next step in their journey. Uh, I mentioned to you that we have a STEM opportunity with East Carolina with, as a result of improvements uh, with uh, STEM East. That the program has improved and it's going to give all of our students a chance to go to East Carolina this summer and, and have some training on cybersecurity and that program should continue to move forward. So we're just Thankful for that opportunity for our students. We were one of four districts that have the opportunity to participate. In that. So I'm thankful for that. And uh, we tentatively plan on a board work session with you on June 26 regarding the budget. And so we would <coughs> like to start around 3 o'clock, but we don't know if that will work for you and if we need to start at 5. June 26th is a Monday. Monday. June 26th is a Monday. But we would, you know, we'd like to have ample time to answer any questions. Price, um, just ready to be myself to be there to work through the budget. <coughs> That would be here. We can do that here. And you say, oh, you, you, what we would like to do it three if we could, but if we need to move it back, the note the program is here. better for me. Okay. For me. Okay. Four would be fine if y'all could do that. Okay. It doesn't matter to me. I might have to come in from Sassy at Mount Olive. That's not going to be a problem. So, should we go with four? Is that better? Do the job. Okay. 
<laughs> so we'll we'll tend to this train at four o'clock. I could have done the twelve. I would want to suggest twelve instead of three. Ms. Raby and myself receive this every year. At, as, well, we receive it this year, and we receive this every year. This is just to make you aware of the pension spike and the employees in the school system that are subject to that concern. So you have that notification from the North Carolina retirement system. So leaving that with you on the only employee list. to renew our textbooks. Um, typically what we do is we have to renew our textbooks every three years and this is the end of our third year. What I've done basically is we know we need them for at least one more year while our teachers complete the letters training. But what I've done is I've given you a comparison if we do it one year versus two years. And if we do two years, as you can see in key point number uh, bullet two, we would be saving over $40,000. And remember, textbooks are state funded, not locally funded. So um, what I need is an approval from the board and a signature from the chair so that we can move forward with renewing the textbooks. And if you have any <coughs> questions, you know, please feel free to ask, but I've given you some um, key points on here on the renewal process. And you said it was state funded. It's state funded. So what would those, like, those savings go? Well, the, it rolls over. Those funds roll over, and we, we keep those funds so that whenever we need to purchase um, textbooks, we have that money. So sure we don't get to keep it. It's state funds, right? I was going to make sure we get to keep it. We get to on. keep it, but it's state, it's state funds, not local funds. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's only earmarked for textbooks. Yes, for textbooks only. Mm -hmm. Did you say you did this was every three years? Yeah, uh -huh. and we're at the end of our third year now. So. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Got a motion to second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you so much. Approval H back the placement at Top of Elementary School. Afternoon, Mr. Chair, board members. I'm here tonight uh, seeking board approval to move forward with HBSC replacements at this uh, 
taking place at Temple Elementary School. Uh, it was uh, put out for bid during the month of May. Uh, we had bidders come in that was bid the 26th of May. The low bidder come in uh, on this job is all season heat and cooling. This is the same contract we did to install over at the new gym as well. The price uh, that the low bid come in was $122,851.09. My request is that you uh, approve this amount so we can move forward with this project. This is from Esther funding. <coughs> Uh, just to give you an idea, and any other questions you may have, I'll be glad to answer about this part. You only got two bids. That's all that, that's all that the fly. So you had to rebid it. I make a motion to accept the low bid of the 122,821.69. Is that what you want me to do? I'll see you. Got a motion? Second. Got a second. Any public discussion? All in favor? No. Aye. Right. Any opposed? Motion carried. Approval surplus technology said. It's not my hair. We sent our inventory numbers and the different devices we have, and they they price each one individually. What we got to do about the teachers? I mean, how, what kind of price are they going to have so we can put it in the motion? Because we I think we the maintenance bills price is just 182. Okay, it was in that letter that I sent. Uh, Yes, sir. So what he did was he took the rate that the company offered him and he prorated that and said this is how much it would cost for each laptop for the teachers and it was about one hundred and eighty two dollars, I think, for about for a laptop. Well, I'll, I'll make a motion to surplus it. What are we making a motion on? Two times. We got we got a surplus. We got a surplus, right? Um, right. Like the bid for the surplus equipment plus do a second motion to sell at the teachers. That's the sales stock in the at the surplus price. Yes, sir. Or at the prorated price. Well, I, this is just me being me now because I'm not really bright. Why are we looking at 144? That's what I'm trying to get to. If it's is it 113 figure or where does the 144 come from? What? Uh, that's next. The uh, approval for the recreation is Apple Lease. I'm sorry. Put it in the we take our heads. Yes, sir. Yeah, maybe that's maybe the least we should have done <laughs> at least first. <laughs> I'll make a motion to surplus the equipment and sell it at 113000 guaranteed price, as well as letting the teachers buy it at the prorated price. So they're, they're, every how you want to make it in, every how you want to write it, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> got a second? Got a 
motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Action item being approved with device refresh. Okay. Um, yeah, we're asking for approval of the uh, Apple uh, lease for the computer device refresh for Dome Senior High School students and Trenton Elementary um, students. And also put a refresh <coughs> of uh, teacher devices uh, district wide. So we'll just play from all teacher devices this summer. Um, the Apple lease is an annual cost of $143,444.35. The uh, total cost of lease is $573,777.40. Um, since we're, we're switching from uh, at high school uh, laptops, we're going to iPads for their devices this year. iPads with uh, cases and keyboards. Um, so uh, we're looking at, we'll save uh, 56962 $56, dollars uh, annually in insurance costs because the Apple Care will pay for two incidents per year. Um, so, and the total um, cost of iPad versus laptop savings uh, will be $315,000 over a four year term. Insurance savings will be $227,848 over a four year term. Um, I just have $100,000 for surplus sales, so. Uh, So our savings over the total four-year lease period is to be six hundred forty-six thousand eight hundred forty-eight dollars. We're saving that much by switching to an iPad. Uh, by switching to iPads, going with Apple Care and instead of insurance and laptop. Well, I'll make a motion to approve that. Whatever you're doing. <laughs> Jump right on that. Yeah, you're saving it. And they do have the keyboards? They do have trackpad keyboards. They, they, uh, very similar to the laptop aspect. iPads would be more versatile than the laptops. A lot of storage on it? I mean, what, what's going to be the storage on the um, iPad? Is it 64, 120? I, I, I think the standard, I don't remember the storage, but. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 yeah. Is that what it says? Yeah, it's, it's in the full case package. It should have the specs on there. Some of them got 128 in the wrong. That's not it. Oh, I'm sorry. Gotcha. 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 You said it's two incidents covered a year. Right. We'll still require parents to pay for those incidents, or will it just be covered up on the applicant? The two incidents will be covered on that Apple Care. Uh, anything after that, you know, we'll, we'll have to charge okay. whatever Apple charges for. Mm -hmm. so, uh, how many people would access? How many? How many? We had two instances. That, that's not. No, 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 no. Let's cover two incidents all per item. The whole thing. No, I get two. Oh, I got you. Got it. I got with you now. So they break the screen two times or a yeah. break the keyboard and the screen. That's a, per one will be an incident. Oh, okay. Repair. That ain't what we have. Per iPad. Oh, I got you. I got you. My bad. I thought you were reciting my record. Oh, no. No, no, no. Sorry. Why didn't I have four? God. Thank God for the plan. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> My motion's to explain. I'm sorry. We have a motion on the floor. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
we are requesting your approval of the second reading of the PLS updates. Uh, there are two new federal laws within these updates that are focused on expecting mothers that include employees and students as well. Uh, there's a total of 20 policies in the update and we are requesting the approval of the policy. I'll make a motion to approve it. Got a motion? I'll second. Got a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Uh, uh, and opposed? Motion to carry. That's right. We have approval of 2020, 23, 24 North Carolina School Board Trust Reward. Remember, you have in front of you the agreement with the school boards trust uh, regarding areas and emissions <coughs> of general liability insurance as well as the cost of that. It's the same uh, coverage that you had last year and so they build us again for the upcoming year and we're presenting that to you. Budget amendment that you have before you, budget amendment five, reflects an increase in both the state and the federal funding um, that have come primarily through the reconciliation process with PPI. Um, some of this occurred before I came, so I apologize for not being able to explain it to the detail. I do know with the state funds that some of that was a result of the reconciliation of the 001 funds, which adjust depending upon how much we spend um, for our teachers. Um, if there are any specific questions that if, I may not be able to answer it right now, but I would be glad to get your answers if I can. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Yeah, <coughs> second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. uh, any opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Board meeting schedule, 23, 24 board meeting, meeting schedule. Board members, uh, <coughs> Candace has prepared a board meeting schedule for next year. It, it's pretty much follows the same sequence of meetings we did this year. It also includes our cabinet principals meeting, which you are also welcome to attend at any time. And so we just ask you to approve those meeting dates or if you see any issues for any of those dates, let us know and we can address it. We'll be looking. It's going to be the first Monday, right? Man, mm -hmm. the board meeting. Mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, September 11th is the reason why we. We don't meet in July. No. Mm -hmm. well, no we, we, we've had to meet in July before when we had personnel. We I know we've met in July. Yeah, we've met in July, but it's usually a special call meeting. But we meet twice in June. Yeah, so we meet in June. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Got a motion? Second. You got a second? All in favor? Aye. In the vote. This is that action item I should be added uh, for the field trip. Remember, you have documentation. This is not a real 
and I've helped my patients to have the opportunity to go to a competition in Dallas, Texas, and uh, there'll be 10 students traveling with me. They will take an activity bus to the airport and fly, and they have all the supervision and monitors that they need, and so we're presenting this to you and asking for your approval for those students. Uh, I'm Sorry, that motion second. And please commend her for financially <coughs> taking care of herself. Absolutely. Thank you. Please let her know that. And she does a phenomenal job. She does. She does. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, we appreciate it. Strong and strong and strong. I have one child come see me this session to discuss personnel at this time. Motion. 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 Yeah, motion and second. All in favor? Mm -hmm.